Hi, this is Marcel Seals with Technology Integration. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to enter your drill data into the eRIP data management system. In this video, we'll cover four specific topics. Scheduling drills, completing drills, creating archives, and archiving your drills. When we begin, under Louisiana, we'll select the East Baton Rouge Parish School System tab. We'll then go to Drills. We'll select an action, in this case scheduling a drill, and the type of drill we'll schedule is a fire drill, which we'll do throughout this entire video. Once we get here, we'll name our drill. Our naming convention will be the month and the year. Once we've scheduled the drill, it shows up. Now to complete a drill after you've done it, we'll go back and hit continue ex existing drill. Then we'll select the existing drill that we've scheduled. And from here, we'll click the edit button and type in the specific information and notes that occurred during the drill. and we'll see that it's all complete at that point. To create an archive, we'll start with General. We'll select Fire Drill. And up here, we'll select Manage Archives and create a new archive. We'll give our archive a name, in this case, just the year. And we'll see it shows up. We can enter also information in the description. We created it and now it's showing up in our list. Now to archive our drills. Once our drills are completed and we have an archive to place them in, we'll go to view drill and we'll select a drill. Next we'll pick that drill from the list, click on it, and click on archive. We'll select the archive we want to put it in, select that, and it will show up. 